I'm smart, funny, and gosh darn it, people like me, right? Today we are going to talk about one of the hot button words of negotiation. It's a word that some people use all the time and it's a word that I do my personal best to avoid using. It's a word that tends to get a rather strong reaction from people and usually not a positive one. The word worth. Charging what you're worth, asking for what you're worth, proving what you're worth. Ugh. How do you feel when you hear that word? Some people are super keen. They hear the word worth and they are all in. Heck yeah, I'm worth a whole lot. And they proceed to merrily go about transforming their business and their life. Others of us, myself included, are not so keen on the word. We get a little caught up in trying to figure out if we can identify our worth. Can you actually assign worth to a human being? And even if we are feeling pretty good about what we're doing, there's a little voice in the back of our head that tells us that our worth isn't a whole heck of a lot and it's certainly not more than what we're making or getting right now. So asking for anything more is completely ludicrous. See? All sorts of baggage comes up when we use the word worth. So today I'm sharing two tips that'll help you get over that. Tip number one is to depersonalize it. It isn't actually about your worth as a human being. We all know that's immeasurable. It's about the worth of your time. Think of yourself as an integral resource in your company. You're not you anymore, you're a tool, a tool being used by your company. It's much easier to sort of calculate your worth that way. Step number two is to convert it to value created. Figure out how much value you are creating for your business and for your clients. So for example, I know that with an hour of my time and a really well-crafted email, I can give my clients the skills they need to save upwards of $10,000 on an event they're negotiating for. That's a lot of value. That's a lot of worth. That is a great number to keep in mind the next time I am feeling a little shaky in my own negotiation. Your homework this week is to do the same type of exercise, quick fire exercise. I want you to write down a list of your last five to 10 clients and how much they paid you. Then, besides each of those names, write down the ROI they experienced after working with you. See, that's a lot of value, that's a lot of worth. What you're gonna do is put that list someplace safe. Maybe it's in your wallet, in your agenda book, on your bulletin board by your desk. You want that list safe and handy so that the next time you're getting ready to negotiate and you're feeling a little nervous about asking for what you want, need, or deserve, or you're getting ready to send out a proposal at far less than the rate you should be charging. Okay, pull out the list and remind yourself of all the value you've created, that great return on investment, and that you, my dear, are worth it. Got it? Good. See you next time.